G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. So we are still in Day Tower. Um, I was having a look at, uh, you know, the stuff that we got and everything, and I noticed that um, our skill points had reset. And, uh, and this happened to me before when I put modifications into weapon and then died. And then just being an idiot, uh, forgot to uh, reapply them. So that's what's most likely happened here as well. And uh, it does say that we can pick up tripwires. So I'd say that's what happened. We, um, we died and then the skill points got reset and then I couldn't um, pick up those tripwires. So we will reapply those. And um, I, I really wanted to have a good look at uh, these weapons. I think um, what I might end up doing is I'm either going to swap out the Tripcaster or the um, Sharpshot Bow for the uh, War Bow because the Ropecaster is extremely useful and um, I have a feeling that like it's going to be... See, the thing is with the Tripcaster is it's... Um, it's a it's a trap basically, and like if you you can't use it during a battle, it needs to be the first hit. Um, because otherwise, uh, once you're in combat, the enemies just jump over the uh, trip wire, so it sort of makes uh you know this purchase a bit of a waste. Um, but I I do want to get all the weapons anyway, at some point. Um, okay, so. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this Tripcaster for now. And we're going to switch over to the Warbow. We're going to try that out for a little bit. So let's... Um, how do I how do I swap that over? I'll probably... Um, we'll have to pro do it this way. So we'll put the uh, Ropecaster down the bottom there. Grab the Warbow. Throw it up the top. And let's go into crafting. Modify weapons. We're going to throw on some modifications. So we've got... Um, Shock and uh, and freeze. They're the two elements we want to focus on. So we've got an extremely good freeze here. Uh, it does a little bit of tear, which is, you know, it's pretty pointless. Uh, but 40% freeze, you, you can't go wrong. So we will definitely throw that on. And uh, we, we could actually go with more freeze, but I think we're going to make this an all-rounder. We do have a 40% shock coil here. So we'll throw that on as well. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Uh, sharp shot bow. Let's have a look what we got in here. All we've got is these dodgy little fucking handling ones. Let's get rid of those. Put something in there that's going to actually help. Yeah, like these tear ones. Because um, that's what I mainly use it for. I mainly use it for the blast arrows. Um, we will lose a little bit of handling though. Um, do we have any with... Uh, I guess we could put that 30% in. It's not really going to help much though. It's only, it's only going to be 26 instead of 20. The precision arrows do come in handy. Uh, come in handy? Is that, does that make sense? I don't fucking know. It's late. Give me a break. Yeah, let's go, let's go tear. Um, what if we just put another fucking tear on there? Yeah, fuck it. Two tear coils. Um, so how are we looking now? 151. Fuck yeah, that's good. Um, so it puts it back on top as uh, the number one tearing weapon. I did increase the capacity of the war bow quiver. So we'll have to, um, no doubt, we'll have to make some, yeah. So what do these actually take? They take the uh, chill water, by the looks of it. Or freeze water, I forget what it's fucking called. And these take uh, sparkers, which we've got fucking shit loads of them. And we can make more of these now, although we're running out of our echo shells, I think they're called. 
Uh, I forget what we um, actually need those, uh, where we get those from. Oh, the uh, people talking is in slow motion. That's really funny. Let's uh, let's continue on. We're going to bypass this uh, cauldron for now. And um, I think what we'll do is we'll head over to this uh, quest here and look for Nakoa. And, um, and then make our way down to Meridian. And uh, no doubt we will get into a lot Story of trouble on the way, so I'm looking forward I'm to keeping it. Keeping my eyes open. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. Then he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Indeed he will. Oh, wow. That's not a fucking Glinthawk. That thing's massive. Looks like we're gonna get into a lot of trouble. We get up here. Anything? Just wanna go off the beaten path for a little bit. What? Oh, a new hunting ground. Awesome. We will have to go back. There is some um, one in the old area. Wow. What do we got down there? So many new creatures. Ah, that's the hunting ground. Okay. And there's a campfire down there. Is that a glint hawk? I think that's a glint hawk. I can't... I can't scan it. For some reason. There it is. Oh, it's a storm bird. Okay, so that is another one. It's got things on its wings we can shoot. Yeah, they move around too quick. I can't get them. But we did scan it, so it does go into our notebook. If we go into our machine catalog, there it is. Nope. <laughs> uh, where's the storm bird? There it is. So we've got uh, blaze canisters. Um, looks like it's on its ass, basically. Weak to fire and tearing. Uh, it has okay. That's how it flies. We've got engines. So destroying that component disables the dive melee attack. And that's weak to tearing. Uh, freeze canister, which looks like it's embedded into its fucking throat. Um. It'll trigger a explosion, freezing anything in the area. So that's very similar to the um, Glint Hawk. And then it has a lightning gun as well, destroying this component, disables a ranged shock attacks. Holy shit, this thing sounds like it's a beast to fight. Um, oh, that's where we can get the crystal braiding from. So that's the first creature I've seen where we can actually get a crystal braiding. So I would probably go, um, cause it doesn't have any weakness to its body. So I'd probably go with the rope caster and then try and bring it down and shoot that freeze canister. Cause that's going to do a fair bit of damage to it. And then hopefully try and finish it off before it gets back up. Um, but 
I really don't really like I don't feel like fighting it um, just this minute um, all right I would like to get that campfire and then if we can get on that path oh is a there's another merchant there I wonder if they've got new weapons. Oh, there is a merchant here. We should get... Yeah, fuck it. We're going to get down there. And just have a little talk. And then uh, continue to... Oh, fuck. This is a long journey. It's good, though. I, I like it. it. It's... It's always... Um, a heap better to... Like, I don't know. Just travel. Instead of fast traveling everywhere. I find it a lot more fun. Uh, and that's the way I used to play Skyrim as well. I never used to fast travel. I'd always um, jump on the horse and just travel everywhere on foot. You you find so much more when you're exploring like that. Alright. What have you got for us? Anything new and exciting? Same weapons. Oh, Karja Rope Caster. Does this take um, the heavy... I noticed there's another weapon, uh, another ammunition. There's, um, what we've got is the light, um, light rope. And I know there's a heavy rope as well. Doesn't tell me. I wish I saw that before... I spent all those echo shells. Uh, actually, we might be able to buy some. Yes. It's only 50 shards. How much will it give us? Five. We'll just, we'll buy a few. Just to give us a little bit of a head start. Oh no, it's, it's one. It's giving us one per, okay. That fucking sucks. Alright, so weapons, um, yeah, we do want this. We want this badly. And we will replace that one there. Oh, we got a new tutorial. Oh, we got a couple of tutorials to do. I think we'll do those on another, another time. So we want to modify uh, this one here and remove this handling modification. Jump into this one here. So we're going to uh, throw both of these on, I think. Um, yeah, fuck it. It's all we've got we can put on there, really. That, that'd be useful. So we've got quite a bit of handling on that thing now. 84. Um... So they're both the, the same amount of uh, like time that it brings it down for. But I would say it takes less uh, rope to bring down targets. Which is always a plus in my mind. Alright, that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, let's go back. No, we need to go to inventory and then... Oh no, that's already selected. Awesome. We are good to go. Sorry, we're um, doing a lot of screwing around. But it's uh, definitely called for, I think. So we wanted to go down here and get this... Um, get this campfire. That, that guy's flight path is right over the top of us. Uh, we might be able to get down here without dying. Yeah, we're good. Quickly pick up this. And be on our merry way without getting into any trouble. So we're going to pick up another one there. And there's a metal flower coming up as well. Awesome. We should um actually scan these guys as well. Seeing as it's the first time we've seen them. They, they are a trampler. So they got a processing unit right in their guts. Weak to 
uh, all damage. Um, we got a power cell, which is weak to shock. Perfect for the war bow. And also uh, tearing. Um, that guy sounds like he's getting close. No. Uh, excavation of horns, weak to tearing. Should we try and take him on? What was what was he what was he weak against? His body's weak to freeze, and um, power cell is weak to shock. Excavator horns weak to tearing, and then the power processing unit is weak to everything. Dark soon. All right. So we want to freeze him first. Okay. That is not bringing him down at all. If the machine charges, it'll flatten whatever stands in its way. Okay, um... So the, the medium, um, rope wasn't strong enough to, to even grip onto those guys. New strategy, um... We do have these amazing tear blast arrows that will strip the horns off those motherfuckers. Apparently it went through that guy. That hurt it. Holy shit. Alright, that was, that was pretty good. like uh, the scrappers, they're scavengers. You think of them as uh, vultures. But we don't want him to get that loot, so I'm gonna pick it up now, because it's got a purple in there. Yep, we're gonna take that. Because uh, if they get the, the loot, it turns it into uh, a processing unit, which like we can't use. Sort of getting ourselves into trouble here. That guy's getting fucked up. Holy shit.
Come on. There it is. Oh, that guy died. Did we do that? Calm, calm. Oh, I think that's the storm bird. Oh, Jesus. No, leave me alone. <laughs> that was beautiful. Alright, what do we got? Flint Hawk uh, Heart, that was good. Uh, I'm not sure what that Stormbird's attacking, but it's fucking, it's going nuts. I would like to get this. Just give me this loot. And then we are out of here. That was good. We, um... Yeah, that was fun. Took out the, uh, one of the new ones. Um, we did manage to get one of the, um, Kaja guys killed, which is, uh, it's not, uh, not ideal. Uh, but hey, at least it wasn't us. Right? Full already. Jesus, did we? Fuck. Um, is that just a potion or? Yeah, okay, I think what we'll do. So it doesn't go to waste. We'll use the potion on that, there we go. And what are you, what are you doing? What are you fighting? Oh, an archer. There's an archer down there, okay. I'm just gonna leave that be, I think. Oh, this is so good, I love this game. So much fun. Uh, we know how to take these guys now, so we've got to slow him down with You're not frost. Like this. Give him a good hit right on that processing unit. Awesome. Trampler lens. These things are, they, they look yellow over here. Um, they, there must be like a color correction thing going on. And yeah, it's making those, uh, cause they're meant to be green. And they're coming up yellow. Well, they, it's like a citrus green, I guess. I just, I love the, the combat in this game is so good because where you shoot, like it does damage to that particular component. And when, when they explode and shit, the, like, it's not just random debris that spawns. Holy shit. What, what are these guys doing? It's like, it's the actual components that were on that machine laying on the ground. It's so good. And it affects the way the, uh, like, the creature moves. You can effectively, effectively disable certain attacks by removing components. Like, it's, ah, oh, it's just brilliant. Um, anyway, uh, we did manage to get that campfire. We're going to go for this next one here. Looks like we got, uh, maybe, uh... Checkpoint or something, um... Like a gatehouse or something. We 
do need a little bit of medicine. There we go. Watch out. Another Kaja dude. Their, their armor looks really good. Uh, morning's watch. <laughs> we got a bonfire here. Um, what, what are they called? Uh, brazer? I think it's a brazer. Nothing else here. Why, uh, hello there. Sun King of Adu. They're in a hurry wherever they're going. There it is, underneath the bridge. Metal flowers. Huh. Well, why not? Alright, so we've got broad heads. I think we can, um... We can bypass those guys. We've got another trader up here in a, in a town. Let's, um, let's go and check this place out. Uh, make sure we're still on the correct path. We are. Alright. Looking good. That's a pretty strong current. <laughs> We're basically following these guys. Oh, here we go. It's not a bandit camp, is it? Better not be. Nah, there's a campfire here. From the sacred land. What did that say? My Artisan. mother told me to steer clear of outlanders, but you seem friendly enough. <clears throat> Alright, so there should be a trader around here somewhere. What do you got for me? Nothing new. So yeah, we're gonna go out this way. We're gonna pick up another campfire. Um, let me know in the comments if you prefer this style of gameplay where we actually travel to each location instead of um, fast traveling. Because this is my preferred play style. What the fuck is going on up there? Holy shit. That is awesome. Um, yeah, but, um... I have been, like, fast traveling because I, I thought it might be boring, but you guys seem to be loving this series, so... Um, you guys might like to see me, uh, travel to each location.
Yeah, the the glint hawks um they they drop pretty quickly once you get that um that freeze sack, uh, and then they take uh even more damage. I, I'm not sure what the percentage is, but it, it's definitely an increased damage. Uh, they're very easy to dispatch once once you get them frozen like that. Uh, it looks like they uh, killed these spear guys. I'm pretty sure this is the crew we saw uh, rushing out here, which is actually pretty fucking cool. Because it, it looked like they were trying to respond to something, and this mu must have been it. Like there was a uh, glint hawk um, infestation. They had a, a squad sent out to deal with them. Most of them died, but it was it was cool to see. Yeah, you you guys got fucked up. Might want to do something about that. No, there's no enemies. I I killed all the enemies. <laughs> They're just standing there waiting for more enemies. Oh shit! There he is, right there. Yeah, see what I mean? He's basically the Giga of Horizon Zero Dawn. So he's got these disc launchers on the side. He's got a massive spiked tail. I'll tell you what we can do. We can jump in here. Quickly get a rundown of him. Um, there he is. Okay, so um, his body is strong against shock, so we can't use that. Doesn't have any weakness. He does have blaze canisters hidden inside him by the looks of it. Um, does it say if this is protected or anything? No, it just says shoot it. Okay, data nexus. Uh, hitting this component deals greater damage to the machine. And it doesn't show me where it is. I don't know where it is. Alright, disc launchers, they're on the back there. They're weak to tearing, and it... Uh, oh my god, this he heavy weapon can be picked up and used after it's been dis detached. That's pretty cool. Freeze canisters are under the belly by the looks of it. They're weak to freezing and tearing. And we've got the heart. Deals greater damage to the machine, we, we, but you've got to get through uh, layers of armor to get to that. It's got power cells in its uh, tail. Weak to shock and tear. It's got a radar on the, uh, the top of its spine there. Disables the scanning ability. It's got cannons in its face. Weak to tearing. The tail is also weak to tearing. So, quite a few components. Um, I've never taken on one of these guys before. And where was the last quick save? Did we get it at this campfire? I think we did, but then we killed... Ah, uh, whatever. I think we'll, we'll be fine. Um, Alright, so we need to remove some components straight up. Um, we know our rope cast is going to be worthless at this point. I'd like to get one of those disc launchers off to see if we can use it. Uh oh, spotted. I think it blew up. Yeah, it blew up. Oh, that didn't do much. So I'd like to remove um, some of the plating where its heart is. 
Or should we go for one of the um, elemental uh, components? I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get a bit of a scan on it. Oh, it does have... Oh, shit. The data nexus is in the head. That's the test. Right there. Shit. That thing is huge. Yeah, it is. See if we can get rid of those cannons. He wasn't happy about that. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. Alright, I can't do radar scans anymore. I need to I need to be able to see the components. Shit. That was my shot. Um okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that Data Nexus. The heart's in there. Just stay out of their way for now. Um... The shock ones were underneath there. Oh shit, he's coming up closer. He hasn't spotted me yet though. It looks like he has though, <laughs> fuck. back up here. It's gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and keep a uh, range on him. Oh he's got components on him. Uh like he's got a shield protecting those um components, uh the shock thingies. So I need to blow that uh, metal plating off first. Right in there. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but that's not what I was aiming for. He's having a hard time finding me uh, without the that radar. 
Let's try and get that disc launcher. Yeah, here we go. Holy shit. This thing is awesome. Just holding on, scare them off. Need ammo. That's awesome. Oh, that's not what I wanted. if I um, remove those cannons he'll be forced into close combat because he'll have nothing else. So that's why I'm trying not to um, take those off. Shit. Three guys there. All right, they've got him distracted. So it was. There's a fire canister on the top there. Um. Where were the freeze canisters? Freeze canisters are inside the guts of it. And the shock canisters are at the back near the tail. So we've got to remove plating from there. Don't come up here, please. Alright, we're going to try this. Because they look like... Shit. Oh, they look like they were um, exposed, but... They weren't. I don't know what to do. Could go and get that other disc launcher. That was good. Oh, that's a good hit on the Nexus. Too far away now. Getting some good hits on. Fucking mowed down. 
I thought we had that too. Fuck. Alright, so I'm running back for a uh, quick save after killing those uh, glint hawks again. And uh, now we're going to go face the Thunderjaw again. I'd really like to get an elemental explosion on it. Uh, trouble is, ev like, all the canisters are armored. So I need to blow off the armor plates first and then hit it with the appropriate element. Um, you saw how many uh, shots that fucking Nexus took. And it didn't explode. Um, I think we had the right idea by going up here. <laughs> Seemed to have a bit of cover. <laughs> Need to get rid of those disc launchers. Get off some of that armor around its head. Oh, shit. He's only got one cannon left. I can get out of What the hell's going on? There, that's them on the back there. Alright, let's try this again. Let's try getting rid of that cannon. Or not. He's distracted by those guys at the moment. I think that's the cannon. There it is. So now he's just gonna start charging. Yeah, look at him. He is fucking pissed. Um, so whether that was a good idea or not uh, remains to be seen.
I'm sure that's where the fucking heart is, yeah. The heart's in there. Let's see if we can get some piercing arrows in there. Oh yeah, 270. Did good damage. I'd really love to get a fire arrow right on those uh, canisters. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? Maybe we should have left the cannon. My god. Oh, that guy got squished. Oh, that guy's now brutal at fucking melee combat. Literally just stomping on them. Here we go again. A little bit closer. Tell you what, while he's down there... Let's pick this up, we're gonna go for it. Risk it for the biscuit. His heart's exposed on this side. So we could get a couple of shots on. Fuck it, aim. He doesn't like getting shot in the eye. I know that. Holy shit. He doesn't like that uh, Nexus being shot either. Alright. Can we get back up here? Low and quiet does it. Shit, I don't I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Way to move. We've nearly got him. It's fucking close.
Oh, he is down. He is fucking down. Oh, we're not going to get there in time. Um, fuck. Let's just hit him there. I know it does damage. He's, yeah, he's injured. Oh, oh, he's not liking that at all. Oh, there it is. Holy shit. We brought down our very first Thunder Jewel. My god, that was epic. Oh, he had a purple on him as well. That is good shit. Alright, so let's have a look. So these are the frost ones. It doesn't look like there's any protection on there at all. Now the, the shock ones are underneath the tail. Uh, somewhere. And yeah, they're the, they're the fire ones right there. There's the Nexus. That's awesome. Victory snapshot for the thumbnail. All right, what did we get? Let's have a look at the loot. Holy shit. 59% handling, holy shit, that's awesome. We got three purples. And we got uh, some echo shells. We, I know we need those. Epic. Not to mention 145 shards. It's good shit. Now this thing is dangerous. Oh yeah. All right, we did it, guys. We should probably try and pick up some of these uh, components as well. That we've blown off the bastard. What's this? A canister? Blaze canister. All right. Um, anyway, <laughs> so we've got a campfire down here we can pick up and then we could continue on to our journey. Um, but the, the video is most likely running quite long, so what I'm going to do is just uh, save it here, and then we'll pick this up in the next episode. Oh, such an epic fight. It was good. we got a data point here as well. Awesome. Alright guys, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.